And now we are headed back to St. George. Stick with my promise. Will we do our own clothing line? I can be insanely intense moving within the next three to four vlogs. Starting the vlog from the airport in LA. Lots of travel the last couple days. Had an amazing time at the Callaway event last night, hitting bombs. And now we are headed back to St. George, Vegas first to pick up a uh, camera, a Sony of mine that had broken down. To be honest, I wanna like just start fresh with vlogging, getting a new camera, probably that DJI Pocket, the DJI Pocket 3, I think. So got some things to do in Vegas before two hour drive home to St. George. The hardest part about living in Southern Utah is flying in and out of there. So got all sorts of swag, got a, the new Callaway ball. We'll be doing some more golf stuff, but still at the heart of it, these vlogs will be fitness, family, and then fun things like golf. This is not flattering at all. This setup here, double chins and just, this is what, no sleep, a full day of traveling, getting home, walking the dogs, and then feeling just absolutely wrecked. Plane, next place, no sleep. And we watched Sicario. I sat down and watched Sicario my with mom never seen it. her mom and myself, and that was all she wrote. Luckily, it was a day off for me from training, but I'm already feeling like I'm coming down with something. I feel like I get into this place where, especially when I travel, don't get rest, over train or under eat, we'll call it, because at the Callaway thing, I didn't eat at all. For what it's worth, I'm having a great time. But wanted to stick with my promise and make sure we uploaded something or I uploaded something. So I thought we'd do a live update. It's 10 o'clock on a Thursday night. Morgan's mom has been here. How long has your mom been here for? Like over two weeks. Yeah, she's been here for two weeks. We actually put in an offer on a house. So that is exciting news. Our plan is still to build, but we'll probably push that back since currently I am taking more of a hands-on approach at the gym, just because it has my name associated with it. I've been gone for you know so long with all of our travels, being in Australia with COVID, Morgan couldn't get into the country. We've gone all over all of those things. And I just felt the gym didn't even feel like I had kind of anything to do with it. So one of my goals in 2024 is to have more of an impact on the community here, set up our offices, a podcast space. So we're kind of in the middle of restructuring some things, getting some new front desk people, some trainers. So there's that. Obviously doing YouTube, we're no longer with Gymshark. A lot of people are saying, oh, we wanna know the background story. To be honest, there really isn't much of one. Time just runs out. Yeah, I think it's it's tough though, but we'll, we'll do a whole video where we'll recap my decade with Gymshark and Morgan's five years. And you know, will we do our own clothing line? I like that. That's another thing that I think we wanna do. We are, you know, really passionate about I love designing, you know, the Strength Collective and I know Morgan, we have Apollo and Sage and she's busy working on that. So I think it'd be more of like my, yeah, it'd be kind of more of my Your baby. Thing, yeah. yeah. Taking Strength Collective and running with that and really making it our baby. And that would be another huge, huge project. Um, our, the app, so Fitness Culture app, we have Fitness Culture Gym, but Fitness Culture app was the reason the gym was actually open. Doing really well, we actually have, doing so well that oftentimes I don't, I don't talk about it. I think that, you know, we, it's a subscription app. We have over 10 different programs that are ongoing, built out for years. And I think it's kind of- It just speaks for itself, I think. Yeah, Morgan's out actually launching her app, already launched kind of a- Pre-registration yeah, is, is pre up, but it starts on the 8th. And that's called Culture of Motion. So we have those two app businesses. My challenge, my current New Year's, really it's a, we're calling it the consistency over intensity. And the reason behind that is, I think in times in my life, I've always been able to be super intense on things. But whether it was school, work, career, I've noticed now that I'm 39 years old, the ripe young age of 39, <laughs> I've realized consistency trumps intensity because intensity, you're just doing this. You burn out and then you fail. You burn out and you fail. And so I'm kind of on guard this year of, hey, be consistent with the things that really matter because I'm an all or nothing type person. 
I do have adult onset ADHD or I have ADHD that was not diagnosed until I was an adult. I've never really taken Adderall for it. I've dabbled at times with Adderall and I do feel like I get super focused on things, but I've noticed in my life, like where I'm passionate about, I can be insanely intense. So like where I'm up halfway through the night, not even wanting to sleep, just researching things, doing things. And that was really fitness, um, bodybuilding, fitness just in general. I think it's been golf lately. But I think that, you know, I have always had a big passion for, for fitness first and foremost, which is why I'm going to I'm going to get my CSCS. That's like a big thing on my to do list this year is to continue some online education stuff. So, of course, I have my bachelor's in biology, psychology. I'm certified personal trainer from lots of USA weightlifting. My oh, I had ACE. Also, I had my CrossFit cert, my um, NASM. And so I feel like I, I, I need to once a year do some continuing education because it is what I'm passionate about. Did you get your cert? Yeah, I got my NASM. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. And I'm about to do my pre and post natal certification with a girlfriend that offered it up to me. She does really good. Pre and post what? Natal. What is that? For like pre and post pregnancy. Oh, oh for training those people. Yeah, for nice. training. Yeah. So yeah, we have the gym apps, clothing companies, and I think we're just trying to catch up on things that were left just to run kind of, they were on autopilot for too long. And I think Apollo and Sage, again, it's almost like I feel like with a lot of our, our businesses, we're untangling. Yeah, a lot of webs. Spider webs, yeah. fishing line, whatever you want, whatever metaphor you want. And it just feels like sometimes we're going backwards before we're going forward. So that's a big part of why we're putting the house build on hold at least for a year. I still have that lot thinking about selling it. We'll see. So we might be, I mean, we will, I guess, be potentially moving within the next three to four vlogs. Yeah, like a couple of days. That's crazy. So and luckily we have my mom here and she's an interior designer, yeah. so she can help us restage all the furniture that we've currently got so we don't have to buy too much. And the house is cool. It's a, like a remodeled 1992 two story walkout basement it. that overlooks a, a golf course. It's not like my forever house. It's more Morgan loves it. It makes her feel like she's back in Australia. It's just very nature, like very, very nature driven it's so pretty it's just if i can get a, know, I can, I can get a cold plunge and sauna on the back of the patio overlooking the golf course and the little spillway that's there i'll be i'll be in i'll be a happy chap wow i actually appreciate that anyhow so yeah we've had a great christmas a great new year's and i think this 2024 is just about buckling down and and getting it done i didn't want to leave you guys hanging so that's why we're actually we're usually in bed about it's this 10 time right now yes yeah, it's, it's not super early it's not super late. That's past my bedtime. It is past her bedtime. But last thing I want to talk about, what book are you reading right now? Oh, I have... Morgan has a goal to read 25 books this year, which I think is pretty, well, a, a pretty lofty goal. I read 25 last year and my goal was 30 and I didn't meet it. And I know that this year is going to be busy. So I was like, I'm probably going to go lower. My goal is to read 12 books. What is that? The Forgotten Sea by Beverly Harper. I thought you didn't like her. I love her. Who am I thinking of? Colleen Hoover. Oh yeah, that's something thing, you know. I'm reading The Boys in the Boat, which we saw the movie, great movie, you Incredible know, movie. really good. And I need to finish up the book now. So it's been a win and that will be my first book done for the year. And so yeah, lots of different goals. And actually that's one of the big things that I'll be going over, even with our New Year's challenge with fitness culture, we have a whole goal sheet of designing your week, setting schedules. And I think that that's probably been the last thing that's been on Morgan and I's mind the last two years is what our day-to-day -day schedule looks like when we're thinking of, you know, like, oh my gosh, this long-term thing of being with your partner. And I've said it a million times, when you're kind of in crisis mode, that day-to-day -day schedule and optimizing your life is the last thing from, from on your mind. So I feel like, you know, we'll call it the year of the optimization this Ooh, year. Oh, fancy. But it really is. And that the only way you optimize things is by scheduling and consistency. So accountability is gonna be a massive factor this year. With that being said, I've talked way too long in this video. <laughs> Rocking a robe, don't know where it's from. Morgan's got like a million pajamas, so. <gasps> This one's from Slash Potato. Oh, shout out Zach Perner. It's got bagels in it. Slash Potato, I do wear my I do wear my sludge potato. They are the comfiest PJs. Yeah, so soft. I just like sleeping naked, huh, Bear? You do. I do don't not. I don't out, sleep like... naked all that much. You do, though. I don't sleep naked that much. Anyhow, <laughs> we're going to end the vlog there. There will be no hanky panky he after this. There heart, won't be any but... hanky panky after this. <laughs> Man. Uh, all right. Bye, guys. Buenas noches. Like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.